My name is Bianca Teixeira, I'm 19 years old and I come from Brazil and I came to Munich to become a professional ballerina. The best thing for me of being a ballet dancer is that I don't have to say a word to show how I'm feeling, to express myself. I just move and then I don't have to say anything and I show people what I am, what I really am without saying a word and that's amazing. I remember that I was six years old and my teacher always told me, you cannot stop dancing. If you stop dancing, I, I'm gonna kill you. And I was little, like I was a child and this thing stayed in my mind. And it was like in a, in a farm in Brazil, in Sao Paulo. And then I changed to the big city one year after that she told me this. And then I started actually the professional ballet with eight years old. Bianca, Bianca. Ta -da. It's really small. Oh, we don't have to table here. Special? <laughs> We got the scholarship to the school in this competition in Lausanne. It was 2014. And there we just saw each other, we know we were Brazilian. And there we got like, each of us around like eight, nine scholarships. Mm -hmm. Then we had to choose and... And choose here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's more than friends. She's my sister, yeah. I would say, yeah. I didn't have any pain in the beginning, but after one year, one year and a half, my foot started to feel a bit weird and a bit of pain. I went to the doctor and he told me, Bianca, if you want to stop the pain, you stop ballet. <laughs> and I was like, no. <laughs> like, so if you want to dance, you have to dance with pain. And I was like, okay, then I will dance with pain. And he teach me how to use all of those stuffs. Of course, I have pain every day, but I had to learn to live with it. Last year, I had this big injury. After a competition in New York, I was between the top 12, and also I won second prize. And I came back to Munich, I felt something was wrong with my foot. Then I went to the doctor and he was like, you have to stop for six, eight weeks or you have to do a surgery. And I was like, oh no, I stopped. Then I really had to stop. And then I realized with ballet dancers, we have to have a limit. Long fingers. That's yes, good. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Okay. The things that I'm worried about is to be better than I was yesterday. Not about being good enough, but always better. Doesn't matter what is it, like something better than yesterday. I mean, it can be your little finger, you know what? It, it's still already something.
every day in the life of a dancer, you are in a competition modus. Not necessarily with your colleagues, but with the picture you see in the mirror. Because you know how it should look like, and you want to, you have to be better. If you say, I'm all right, then you are going down. I actually like classical and modern, like the same, same. But there's one thing that I love in modern that is I really can put all my feelings into it and I don't have to control it. Just move the way your body wants to move. You don't have to be pretty, you don't have to be beautiful, you just have to be yourself and it's what makes the modern dance beautiful. Add it to the pile, it's a staple now. Still the coins in the jar get put back somehow. Maybe it's better to find your own and out. I like the way she works. She really works like a ballerina. Hard worker, always in the studio, always prepared, always ready to learn, ready to do it over and over again. She doesn't get tired. Sometimes you even have to stop her. I see the possibility and potential in her to become a ballerina. I'm gonna cry at you. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> I never talk like this in front of you. No. <laughs> I wish Bianca first of all health because that is the most important thing and especially for us it's a very physical job but I hope whatever she does wherever she is she is happy she is satisfied <laughs> No I really mean I really mean not because we're doing an interview Yeah stage you just enjoy it you can enjoy the maximum you can because you know you have worked a lot on studio so when you're on the stage you're just okay I did this a lot of times and now I can just let myself go and forget everything around and enjoy it In this beginning, I'm supposed to be Carol. I'm her mirror. Pretty hard because I don't see her and she don't see me. Everything's really dark for me because she has the audience part and I have the black part that is so black. So we have to be together somehow. So yesterday in the rehearsal I slipped. I almost 
felt on stage. And that things always happen with anyone and you just have to keep going. But the thing it was only a her, so didn't make me nervous for today. Never expect someone to come to you and say, wow, good work. Like, you should know what you did good and you should know what you did not good. And suddenly people will come to you and say it and you will not expect it. And you will be like, wow, surprised and more happy because you didn't expect anything. It's really sad because sometimes you, you come like one year after and you see that you lose one year from their lives, you know. You miss them, like you wanted to be there with them. But then I realized that it's my choice being here and it's worth it. I mean, it's okay, sometimes you really want to be there because, you know, time is flying. So you never know what's going to happen or not. But also I wish they could watch me and, you know, and, uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> so yeah.